Hi, this is Lynn with Lynn's Hangouts, and we're here today at Swabby's on the River enjoying a day of live music when I happen to run into Randy Barranco in the crowd of fans. So Randy has graciously accepted my invitation to chat about his awesome business. So thanks, Randy, for hanging out with us today. How you doing? Awesome. Very cool. Did I pronounce your last name right? Yes, that's Barranco. right. Okay, good. I practiced that. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so you're in the business of making custom guitars of a most unusual kind. I'll have to say some very beautiful custom work goes into these instruments. And there you have one right there. So, well, tell us how and when did this business come about? What was your inspiration? Actually, I'm just a representative for an amazing guitar builder from Belize. His name is Roque Batty. And he's been a bass player since he was 15 years old. Started making his own guitars in Belize and had some people order some guitars for him. So he figured he wanted to grow that business and so he came to the United States. Oh, nice. And I met him in 1999. I designed his website. Where did and, you meet him at? Uh, I had my resume out at a couple of job oh, places oh, for, nice. for web design. Yeah. And he went in looking for a website or yeah. someone to help him with the website. And they gave me a call and I went down and met him. Very cool. So I, okay. at that point I designed his website and um, made a suggestion that he needed a manager. Mm -hmm. And he didn't really go along with that too well. He had someone try to rip him off at one point. Uh -huh. So he asked if I would do it. And I, so I studied up a little bit on some marketing and okay. advertising copy and all that. And yeah. So yeah, I started, we had our first guitar show, the World Guitar Show at the Cow Palace in 2003. Wow, nice. And we had a big response to that, you know. And um, so we've done a couple other, the NAM show in 2006. Wow, I brought my guitars down there a couple of years in a row. We get a really big response oh, to that. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> in yeah. fact, you had them out here today, and a lot of people were like, ooh, and an all I know of them. So, oh, yeah. yeah, just beautiful. Very yeah, beautiful. it's amazing. This guy is an amazing wood carver, but he's an extremely uh, awesome bass player. And oh. so everything that he makes doesn't leave the shop until it sounds just right. So all this stuff that you see, the crazy carvings and all that, it's uh, not just for looks. Yeah. It, it definitely plays well. Wow. We've had a few different bands use it in their recordings. Oh, very cool. So very yeah, cool. this one's been played by uh, Uriah Duffy from White Snake oh. and uh, a few other people. Have, I've got pictures of them with them holding him, and they've tried them out. Some of the stuff is not on film, but we, but yeah, I've had a lot of yeah. musicians do that. Yeah. So. This is one I've been using for promoting for about 10 years oh, now. Nice. Okay. So it's still in really good shape and it has been played, but um, it's just my personal bass that I use. I keep on hand. It gets a lot of attention. So, so you I, do play? A little bit. Okay, yeah. very but, cool. And you tell me how you put the gold strings on it. Yeah, recently we, you know, we have, have the gold hardware on here and um, I was thinking about doing an inlay in the neck, maybe putting some flames in there or something. Ooh, nice. And then a friend of mine came out and he showed me these gold strings. They're really nice strings. They don't, they're not just for looks either, but right. yeah, so it actually amazing. tied the guitar together pretty well from the headstock. It does. Place. It really does. Yeah. yeah that's so yeah, amazing. it's pretty neat. He does this little carving on the back with the skull. Oh, has wow. a magnetic battery cover so you don't need to use a screwdriver oh, to change the batteries. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Good engineering. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So basically somebody can come to your company and say, here's my thoughts, my design, my idea, and then we'll turn it into fruition. Yeah, as you can see, I mean, this is a small example here. I'm going to reach down and okay. show you. This is a oh. photograph of the life-size sculpture guitar stand of Carlos Santana. Wow. So the eagle is part of the guitar. The guitar is held onto the sculpture by a magnet. Oh, really? So yeah, we sold that, or he sold that to Carlos just before I came into the picture. He sold that to him, I believe it was 1999. Oh, wow. So that's in his studio. Oh, and um, yeah, top of the line you can components. Tell us too. Yeah. That's amazing. Really he is has pretty such cool. Attention to detail. Yeah. That's Let's, crazy. I'll show you one more kind of Sure. Crazy picture here. Oh, this I is a it. machine gun base or a salt base. And that actually called. really plays. It really plays just like this one does. Oh. It's based on the same neck through principle, the okay. same type of wood. Okay. So it sounds about the same as this one. Wow. Wow. So yeah, it really does function and has a, a laser dot. You pull the trigger and a laser dot comes out. <laughs> That's awesome. Kind of comical, but Thanks. it's it's cool. actually really neat. That's amazing. I actually saw a picture on your website of somebody playing with it. It's like. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's it is. amazing. It's neat, so. Well, what, what about the future? What's, where are you guys going with this? Well, direction? what we're going to do is we're going to get back into the trade shows like the NAM show. 
this year and um, take our orders. You know, we're hoping to get, uh, the last time we went to the NAM show, we were able to get some orders and we're hoping to get enough to keep us working through the year, awesome. at least to start. Yeah, there you go. So how long does it take them to produce a custom guitar? A guitar like this, this bass, is, yeah. um, it took about a month of 40 hours a week. So it's a awesome. lot of time, a lot it, of time. but you know, and it's most of these uh, are, these guitars are made by hand. There's very few uh, modern tools that are used for this, and so that's why it makes it really much more amazing what he's able to do with the primitive tools. And he sounds it down. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it, there's a lot of time in it, so. I'm so impressed, that's amazing. Yeah. And where is he located? I, I haven't met him yet. He is, is in Oakland right now, and we'll be going back to Belize soon. Oh. And we hope to open up a shop there. Nice. Not hope to, we will be opening a shop. There. There yeah, go. so, yeah. you know, the labor's cheaper down there. That's where he's from. He wants to hire some of his family. Yeah. And then I'll stay here and uh, be the middleman. Yeah. And what about the Sacramento area? I just broke into this area. Um, I never really tapped into it. I've been to LA, San Francisco, Concord, the whole Bay Area. Yeah. But I never really tapped into the Sacramento market, so that's what we're doing now. And I'm thinking about venturing into the country music side also. Very cool. I have a lot of metal bands and stuff that have played our stuff, but yeah. like I said, everybody deserves a chance to get one of these in their hand. Exactly. You know? And Sacramento is full of musicians, so yeah. this is a perfect spot for you. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think cool. it'll work out pretty good. I think so too. That's a good strategy. Yeah. That's very cool. I know so, yeah. Well, anyone interested in seeing more examples of your fine work can check out your website, Rockbatty. I'm sorry, Rockbatty.com, which is actually spelled R-O-Q-U-E-B-A-T-T-Y.com. That's right. Rockbatty. Sure. I love the way you spell rock. I always, I always say rock, but it's rock. Rockbatty.com. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and throw a phone number at you right now awesome. because I looked on the website. Yeah. For some reason, something's going wrong, and I couldn't find the con oh, contact. Okay. So I'm going to give you my number, and that's a 530 area code, 941-1125. Okay. What's the last part? Nine. The, the, the numbers are 941-1125. 1125. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. So, so anybody interested can give you a call, take out your website, everything. If you just want some custom inlay work done, the guy, the guy does amazing inlay work and reasonable prices. So yeah, that's awesome. get a hold of me and I'll, I'll fix you up. Yeah, awesome. Let's do it. Give them a call, people. That's awesome. Yeah. Randy, thank you so much. If we can tell them music's going, it's harder to talk out here. So yeah. we'll go back and check out the band now. Yeah. But thank you so much. It's thank you. Show that guitar off I wanted too. to share my appreciation for what you're doing oh. out here supporting these bands. I tell you what, I live up north near Reading and that music scene is dying. Oh. We need someone like you up there doing it. I wish I could. You yeah, know, but you. you got your hands full here, yeah. so it's awesome what you're doing, and I really appreciate it. I'll support it any way I can. You're so sweet. Thank you. In fact, we might be seeing you on my website as a yeah. sponsor. So Most likely, very yes, awesome. we will. Very cool. Okay. Right, well, thanks again for a wonderful interview. That's awesome. Very All informative. Right. All right. Yes, indeed. Very beautiful. All right, Thank guys. you, Randy. Thanks.